Okay, here we have the tail veil, and we've taken it out of the package. Um, it comes with its own little carrying case and stakes okay, and rain fly. And here's the opening, and we're going to show you how to put it on the hatchback of a car. We have the Ford Transit Connect. And we kind of just tie it to the rack of the car, but you can actually use the frame just makes of it the easier. hatch. Okay, as soon as we uh, put it on the top of the luggage rack, we kind of uh, attach the elastic part to the bottom of the make car sure frame. No, make uh, sure hot pipes are yeah, make sure that you. nothing's hot. You know, your sharp. tailpipe's not hot or anything sharp. Then you just kind of attach it to the that little bungee cord to the tire. Do the same thing to the other side. And then you can use stakes, but since we're on concrete, we're just going to use a brick with some rope and just tie it down here so it has a little bit of form. Then you can you open up the zipper. There's zippers on both sides. Get inside and then lift your hatch. And it actually fits perfectly on this hatch. I know that in some videos I've seen, uh, it doesn't fit as formed and people use umbrellas or coolers to hold it down, but we haven't had to do that. Tell them tying off to this. It's easier to tie it Yeah, on. if you tie it on to the car, it makes it easier. A window or a door. Window or door or anything you have. Makes it much if easier. You don't have those racks. But if you don't have the racks, you can just attach it to the back of the hatch, really. Um, that's what it looks like once you're inside. See up here where it seals all the way around. And you know, you make sure that it's all the way around. This is what it looks like set up without the rain fly. Okay, now we're going to put the rain fly on. Here again, I'm going to use the same uh, holder. And I'll show you on this side when he comes over to this side. And if you don't have these, you can use your windows or doors. Little attachment here. And then, of course, there's areas to put stakes down on both the screen part and also the rain fly. Do the same thing to the other side. Fly also has zippers on both sides to match the zipper on the screen side. 
Uh, and we're just putting it up kind of quickly so you can see it. Um, but you do have areas to put stakes down on every corner. So this is what it looks like on the car. It's pretty neat. And this is how you would open it to get inside again. Gives you privacy. Uh, protects you from the elements. And there's the zipper for the other part. And that's what it looks like inside. If you can see that. It's pretty neat. It's like a 7x7 seven seven, or a 6x6. Six six, I forget now. I'll have to look that up. It does come with a carrying case, stakes, and some minimal instructions. And it all packs right back into it conveniently. That's how we take it down, just reversing it all. It actually only weighs like five to seven pounds. Very lightweight, which is what I wanted. I didn't want to have anything too heavy to set up. And some of the other tents are nice. They just kind of look a little complicated to set up. This thing is very easy to set up. We've already done it twice today. I'm very happy with the purchase. It gives me some privacy and some extra room to sleep in the car or I can use the floor to put um, cot down or a sleeping bag or a pad. Very convenient for travel, keeping the bugs out. So this is the tail veil hooked up to the Ford Transit Connect. And it works perfectly with this hatchback. Uh, here you can also use them on the teardrop campers for added protection and to have a screen enclosure. Thank you to my husband for putting this together for me, for helping out so we could do this video, to have a video that actually shows how it goes on and how easy it is to take down. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video.